Understanding the phrase, thundering outside. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in the English language, thundering outside. This phrase is not just about weather, but it's also a great example of how English uses vivid imagery to describe events. Let's dive in and understand every aspect of this phrase, which will help you enhance your English vocabulary and comprehension skills. Thundering is a verb that originates from the word thunder. Thunder is the loud, rumbling sound that follows a lightning flash during a storm. But in English, thundering isn't just limited to describing weather. It's often used metaphorically to describe any loud, booming, or powerful sound. For example, the train was thundering down the tracks. This section will explore the different uses of thundering in both literal and metaphorical contexts. Adding outside to thundering focuses the action in the external environment. It's a key detail that helps listeners or readers visualize where the action is happening. In our phrase, thundering outside, it implies that the thunder is occurring outdoors, possibly influencing the situation inside, such as causing fear, excitement, or even a cozy feeling. We'll examine how the addition of outside changes the context and feeling of the phrase. In this section, we'll look at various examples of how thundering outside can be used in sentences and dialogues. This will include both literal and figurative uses. For instance, in a story setting, the night was dark and stormy, with thundering outside, versus a more metaphorical use like, I could hear the fans thundering outside the stadium. Understanding these examples will help you grasp how to use this phrase effectively in your own speech and writing. And that's a wrap on thundering outside. I hope this video has illuminated this interesting phrase and given you a new appreciation for the depth and imagery in the English language. Remember, language is not just about communication. It's also about painting pictures with words. Keep practicing, keep learning, and soon you'll be thundering ahead in your English language journey. See you in the next video.